One of the best things about game production classes is teaching the idea of collaboration. The game industry, games are built by hundreds of people. It used to be true that games were built by one or two people. That's not true anymore. These, these teams are 100, 200, 300 people in size. And it's important that people understand that it's not their ego which is driving the creation of the game, but their ability to work and collaborate with others. Camaraderie is built up amongst the students, and everybody has their part to play. The artists create the art, the designers do some writing, and they create uh, the game systems, and the marketing people sort of come up with a way to sell the game to the other students. It is an experience much like the theater club or the high school newspaper or the film club. The games always mirror the state of society. Games always mirror the available technology in society. Um, for instance, card games came into uh, popularity after the printing press came into being and everyone could get their hands on a deck of cards. Before the printing press, cards had to be hand painted. All those, all those inventions get discussed in the Games Through the Ages course and you can see how society is mirrored in the games people play. It's also important to understand that you don't need to be a programmer to take one of these game development courses. They're designed for students who are writers, who are just simple artists, who are ideas, students who have ideas about marketing, along with the computer programmers who might want to get a hand on how games are built. So just because you're not technically inclined shouldn't get in the way of you thinking that these courses are for you. It's important to understand that all the skill sets are used in the production of games.